Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. We're going to have a quick hitter edition and go give an update on the Bruno Scarfo crime family in Philadelphia. A um, couple things to touch on. Let's start with reputed underboss slash former underboss Joe Mousy Massimino has been alerted that uh, he has been cited for multiple supervised release violations. Um, Dave Schratweiser over at uh, Mob Talk Sit Down and Fox Philly 29 broke the story last week that um, over a several month period in early 2024, Mousy, who is just really the definition of an OG. I mean, if they if you look up OG in the dictionary, that's him. I mean, he uh, is the quintessential wise guy, LCN to the core, unabashed. And he was seen meeting with two pretty low level associates, uh, Gogs, aka Googs, aka Snitch. Stevie Frangiapani and uh, kind of a professional gambler um, slash quasi mob associate Vincent Procopio uh, at Mousy's kind of day to day haunt, uh, Oregon Stakes. And it remains to be seen if, if Mousy could have to go back uh, to prison for this or if we'll just have to go back into a halfway house. Um, but I, I want to address something that's come out in, in the uh, reporting of this, not from Dave Schratweiser, uh, him and I are, me, uh, George and, and Dave, there's no daylight between us. Um, and, uh, we're all kind of on the same team and in pretty consistent communication about this stuff. But, uh, over at the Sit Down True Crime podcast, in their coverage of this, it appeared that the platform took a swipe at me, maybe me and Dave, maybe just me, um, alluding, implying that our reporting, my reporting, that in the roughly two years since Mousy Massimino has been out of uh, federal custody that he is quote unquote holding court uh, at Oregon stakes. And that somehow played a role in, in him being violated um, that we somehow, or I somehow tipped off <laughs> the FBI or something. Uh, it's quite laughable. First of all, it's true. So we wouldn't be reporting. I wouldn't be reporting if it wasn't true. Um, and second off, if you think that what I report or what Dave reports or what George says or reports or is written, if you think that that somehow influences the federal government or tips the federal government off, you're in the wrong business or, or your perspective on this is, is very skewed. I, I, I'm not going to give the, the specific name of, of this person. And it wasn't a guy from Philly, but a high ranking LCN shot caller uh, called me out of the blue a year or two ago after I'd written something about him. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll talk to anybody. I'll always talk to anybody. And uh, it was a cordial conversation, but he, he made a comment to me like, what you reported, he didn't say this verbatim, but kind of like, you're reporting this, you know this, do you think the FBI knows this too? And I said to him, "You do you think anything that's ever reported by the media do you you really believe that the federal government isn't aware of that and hasn't been aware of whatever is being reported for 
months, years in some cases. So I, I really push back on this notion that somehow, again, reporting the truth that Mousy Massimino is um, still engaging in conversations about LCN. Um, that doesn't mean that that he is doing something other than what he's been accused of. Uh, we have reported that he took a, a administrative post, if if only in a ceremonial capacity. Um, this is not a guy that, you know, this type, I should say, I'm not going to speak for Mousy, but this type of person is not prone to retirement. Um, this is what they love. This is what they do. And I, I, I just... I take offense to us reporting what is fact is somehow influencing the government or, or doing these guys wrong. We don't spin. We don't, uh, we don't spew propaganda. Uh, we, we give the unadulterated truth, the raw truth. And that's what it is. And, and we hope, I don't want to see anybody go back to prison. I hope, I don't want Mousy to go back to prison. Um, and again, this is when you're on supervised release, you know who you can and cannot mix with. Uh, whether or not Gogs and, and Procopio are big time mobsters, which they're not at all, not even close, uh, but they are convicted felons and they do have close connections to mob shot callers in the Bruno Scarfo crime family. And, and I'll just end with this and then I'll move on to just one or two other things I want to touch on when it comes to, to the Philly mob. But you got to scratch a little, you, you got to scratch beneath the surface here. I, I don't believe that the feds really care about snitch or procopio but you gotta you gotta you gotta read the tea leaves about who those two people are connected with and anybody that knows the scorecard in philly knows that frangiapani is a frequent sidekick of joey merlino and georgie borghese procopio's two brothers right now are under indictment in a drug case I know that Massimino, whether, whether he's doing anything or not, the government is watching him and of the opinion that he still has say in LCN affairs and he's not retired. Um, so that's that. And uh, we'll always give you the inconvenient truth here because sometimes truths are inconvenient. Sometimes they're uncomfortable. But that's what we, that's reporting. We're, we're journalists, you know, we're reporters. We're not here to spin and, and chill. Uh, okay, so we'll finish up by uh, saying that uh, about a week or two ago, the whole family, the whole the Bruno Scarfo crime, uh, crime family came together for a birthday party, surprise 60th birthday party for Anthony Borghese, the brother of... Uh, the reputed boss of the family right now, Georgie Boy Borghese. And uh, Anthony is only about, I think they're like Irish twins. Uh, I think they're less than two years between them. Anthony is Georgie's little brother. And uh, a lot of guys came. A lot of guys uh, that were representing other Borgatas came. There's been pictures in social media that have circulated. Uh, I don't know if people have the context of where those pictures were coming from, but I know there was a picture of the uh, the Changs, Johnny Chang and Kathy Chang, uh, with little Joe Perna, who is the uh, Lucchese soldier in New Jersey, very close to the Merlino and Borghese camp. And that there was a picture of the three of them that was going around. So happy birthday to Anthony. We've reported uh, in the last couple months that his responsibility in the organization has been increased with uh, his brother's um, responsibilities increasing and that Anthony could be on the verge of becoming a capo. 
but uh, that remains to be seen. And then we'll finish up by saying that Anthony Persiano, the guy that wired up and recorded Anthony Borghese's making ceremony back in 2015, um, had his sentencing pushed back for the 14th time. He'll, it looks like now he'll be sentenced in January, but who knows if that will actually happen. This is a new tactic by Uncle Sam and the federal government to give cooperators breaks. And they just, they literally, they push your sentencing off for sometimes decades. Uh, Joey uh, D'Amico, the former cop on the Bananos, copped his plea 20 years ago. He still hasn't been sentenced. So just another way that the, the feds uh, kind of uh, try to stretch the rules. But uh, Persiano has not been sentenced, and I wouldn't be putting money on that his sentence is coming time, coming anytime soon, despite the fact that he's got a, a hearing uh, set out for January. Uh, last thing I want to say, Mousy Massimino is trying to fight the, the violation or the, the alleged parole violations and has a hearing himself to kind of explain himself. According to Shrat Weiser's reporting, he was presented, uh, I guess, with photos of him meeting with Snitch and Procopio and um, denied, or I guess he maybe denied that he had met them. Then he was shown pictures and acknowledged it. Uh, Procopio went down with uh, uh, Mikey Lance and Anthony Nicodemo and Donald Grande in the uh, Operation High Roller New Jersey State case back in 2000 seven or eight and cop the plea. Uh, and he's like a guy that's like a uh, professional poker player. You see him on like ESPN and sometimes or Fox. Or uh, Scott Bernstein, OG pod, please like, share, subscribe, um, spread the word, uncovering the underworld, one city, one region, one country at a time. I'm out.